I thought that a lot of the problems that we've been having all year long really surfaced again, and uh, this time the, the team we played was, was good enough to take advantage of it. Uh, I thought our transition defense was poor. I thought our half-court defense was poor. Offensively, I thought our execution was poor. And then we lost our poise, um, and that was, that was unexpected. I was really disappointed to see the, the veterans that we have um, not rise to the occasion. Uh, I think we've, um, you know, we, we're a better team than we showed. I thought Kristen Williams was phenomenal. I thought she played just an incredible game and really, really was the difference in the game. Muffet, what of the stuff most disappointed you? I mean, the lack of assists that you guys normally have, the free throw shooting, the poise, what, what are the, were you most upset about after the game? Yeah, I think all of it. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, our game plan was to get the ball inside. Bree only got seven shots. You know, I, I thought we uh, we had an advantage inside and, and we weren't able to have the discipline to, to execute. You know, I thought she was open. We just didn't get her the ball. And uh, so I would say that the discipline of being able to execute was uh, was bad. But the, the defense was equally bad. So I don't think I could choose. I think they're, they were both pretty bad. Why were they able to get so many high percentage shots? They were really open. I thought uh, I thought our defense was poor. Um, and they, they got a lot of wide open shots, wide open looks that they were able to make. Transition, I thought we didn't match up well. And they were getting wide open looks. Facing some adversity for maybe the first time. Biggest thing you can kind of you know learn going forward after after a loss for the first time. Yeah, it's not the first time we've faced adversity. I, I think that um, you know we we've we've been lucky to win. I, I think we've you know we've been in this in the situation where we've gotten ourselves down and we're able to come back. We always had that spurt. You know, we always had that spurt in us that five minutes where everything was going to go right. And you know tonight we just didn't have it. So I think it was good for us. I, I think. Uh, you know, it's it's going to allow us to really look at things a little more objectively and to move on and move forward from here. What's this game tell you about your team? We got a long way to go. I think we we're a really good team, and we will be a really good team. Um, tonight we weren't. I was disappointed for the fans. They came out, they gave a great effort, and we didn't. So I uh, I was disappointed in that too. Marina played all but 35 seconds. You said you wanted to maybe limit some of her. I know she was full go today. She, yeah. yeah. On the other hand, Jackie did play the the whole game. Just what was she giving you that kind of gave you that that confidence that she could, you know, kind of, you know, steer the ship and really kind of try to, you know, continue, you know, being that that steady uh, that steady hand. Yeah, I, you know, I think we wanted to play her at the point more, and uh, you know, it didn't exactly happen as we had, you know, talked about in the huddle. But uh, I think we need the ball in her hands more. Um, she's a good decision maker, and and that's what we needed today. For the players, just for you guys, just, you know, how is this game, you know, something that you want to try to make sure, especially as veterans, that you can kind of, you know, go back in the locker room and, and talk to, uh, you know, maybe the younger girls or uh, just maybe some of the other veterans about how you can kind of learn from this and, and grow from it. I mean, I think it shows that um, whenever the coaches are honest about details and just um, getting back in transition, just doing all the small things, I think it really showed tonight. And I think um, just from now on, um, we're just going to um, take more pride in our defense and just really play hard every possession. And um, I mean, it's, it starts tomorrow. We have to. We have a lot of things that we have to fix, and um, we just have to come in focused um, and ready to get the job done. Muffet, what do you expect to see from your team next time you guys practice? I mean, what, what, what's the response you're looking for? Well, I would like to see a little more effort and intensity. Um, I'd like to see a little more uh, poise and execution. Um, you know, I think, I think really everything. You know, I'd just like to see a general step up to the level um, that we're capable of playing at. You think that's been missing for the for the duration of the season, or was it just kind of just I think, out there today? You know, I, I think we've, like I said, we've seen it in spots where, you know, at Oregon State, I mean, they came out and we just were back on our heels and they were making threes and we, you know, we weren't guarding them and then we kind of righted the ship um, and got back in the game and, and that's happened a couple times, but, uh, you know, I, I think, I think we just, um, you know, we just lost our poise. We really did. We just, we just kind of lost our poise for a minute. Arika, you're, you're nodding at her 
Parker saying that, uh, what, what, from your perspective, did happen in uh, those last two foul calls? Uh, um, I think we fed right into what they wanted. He baited a lot of us, and, you know, we lost our poise, like she said, and as seniors and, you know, leaders of this team, we can't let that happen, and that definitely was a momentum change, so we definitely have to change that from here on out. Was he saying something to you? Looked like he was talking to you. Uh, yeah, he said some words, and I fed right into it and said something back. So, like I said, as a senior leader, I definitely can't do that. I have to keep my composure in times like that. Rick, is it the most frustrating thing that it was a poise thing? Forget the missed shots, but, like, you guys kind of lost to what you're known for. I think even before, you know, the end of the game, we were kind of not playing our game leading up to that. So I think if we changed the stuff that happened before that, we wouldn't even get to that situation. Well, if it's only December, I mean, this is a lot of basketball left to be played. Mm -hmm. Is this something you guys can learn from? As oh, yeah, absolutely. Going forward? You know, win or lose, I think it's that kind of game where, you know, there's still a lot of basketball left and you got to figure out what uh, what you're doing well and how you fix the things you're not doing well. Last year, you guys were forced to learn how to win without Bree. Are you now trying to learn how to win with her again? Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? Um, it looks uh, like she was really working hard to get the ball and, uh, you know, I thought we could have rebounded better though. I mean, I thought they could have done more to go get it themselves. Um, you know, we certainly didn't get that many offensive rebounds and we missed plenty of shots. So I think there were opportunities for, for more, um, but certainly we've, we've just got to be able to find somebody that can make plays and look in. Buffett, do you feel like you shot the ball too quickly, uh, especially in the first half? You know, we, we generally shoot it pretty quickly, I would say. Um, you know, I don't think, I wouldn't say the first half because it was a pretty close game in the first half. Second half, I thought it was when we, uh, we got out of, kind of got out of sorts and uh, jacked up a couple where, you know, the play was to go inside and we, and we shot the three instead. And, you know, that, that's where I thought we lost it in the second half. Coach, when we saw you last, we talked about Caitlin and her shoulder injury. How is she progressing through that? Yeah, well, it's early. I mean, she's going to be out a couple of weeks. So it's just a, it's kind of a day-to-day. -day. hope she gets better. Because she was the one that you were looking to talk to. You were looking for her to be one of those that stepped in and as a as a younger player to put some put some minutes in for you today. Yeah, we 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 were going to be counting on her and Jordan Nixon as well. You know who we haven't had in four games. So, I mean, that's certainly not <laughs> anything to do with the final score. But um, it would have been nice to have one of them today. How much did you know about the Williams girl coming in? Yeah, we recruited her. She's a great player, number one player in the country coming out. I mean, she's somebody that can really get to the rim. Um, that's that's what we were worried about, um, her ability to drive the ball. And uh, she certainly did a really good job of that.